Do you want to trade your pets for really good overpays but don't know how to do this? Well watch this video because I'm going to tell you exactly how I get really good overpay trades in 2024. <laughs> So Tigers, the first tip I'm going to give you is to not seem too excited to do a trade. If you're getting a really good trade and then you're like acting quite excited about it, you say like, yay, or thank you so much in capital letters, this might make the other person think, why are they so happy? Am I super over or something? then this can then cause you to lose that trade because the person will be then become worried that they're super over if you're acting like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. This is my dream pet, thank you. Then they're going to think, oh, am I super over or something? And then they're going to say, I'm not sure and decline the trade. So please do try not to act too excited about a trade if you think you're getting a win. Because you're not going to get that win if you make that person think that you're getting a win. Because then they're going to decline because they're not going to want to take a lose. So if you're getting a win trade, just try and say like, okay, I'll guess I'll do this. I mean, I was kind of looking for that pet. So I guess I can do this. Just try and act casual about it because if you like make them think that you're getting a huge win by acting really happy about it, then you're never going to get a win trade because you're always going to lose the trade most of the time unless the other person doesn't mind that they're taking a lose. But most of the time they do. So try not to act like really excited about trades. And then tip two is to not go into super, super rich servers. A lot of people go into servers which are really, really rich, such as Roplex servers or Brit Day Cake servers. And I find that it's actually harder to trade and harder to get win trades in these servers. And this is for two reasons. One, because in these servers, a lot of people who are really rich know the exact values of pets so under no circumstances will they trade any of their pets for a lose trade or even a fair trade they're only going to trade you their pets if you're over so you're never going to get good trades whereas in a like semi-rich trading server a lot of the people or some of the people won't know the exact values of pets and they'll just be wanting to trade for pets they like the look of or need and they'll be okay to overpay for those pets because they might not necessarily know the exact values of the pets and their main goal might not necessarily be to grow the value of their inventory whereas in a really rich server loads of people's goals is to just grow their inventory and they don't care what pets they're trading for as long as it's a win trade so i would really recommend going into like semi-rich trading servers instead of fully rich trading servers and then the next tip i'm going to give you guys is if someone is looking for a pet that you have try and be the first one to trade them because a lot of the time when someone is looking for a pet they're going to overpay for that pet to make sure they get it such as here when I was trading the new Fire Dimension Hawk and Baked Alaska Bait. This person was looking for the new pets and I got a really huge overpay for them. And same in this trade, I got a really huge overpay for the same person who was looking for more of these Alaskan Bakes. And this was when the update first came out and a lot of people are going to be looking for the new pets when the update first comes out. So try and utilize new updates and trade the new things for overpays and now the next tip i'm going to give you guys is to not give up if you're not getting trades in a server after about 10 minutes i would recommend server hopping especially if the server 
is like losing pets like it's not as popular anymore because then you're not going to get nearly as many chances to trade for pets or for people to offer for your pets but just don't give up you'll find the right server you'll get into a server where someone is looking for a pet that you have even if you're not that rich sometimes people are just looking for like the commonest pets and they're going to overpay for them so just really don't give up and another way that I'm going to tell you about how to get the best trades is I would not recommend not offering. I know some people say trading like so-and-so pet and then they say not offering. Well, I wouldn't do this because if you don't offer, you don't get half as many trades. Half of the trades I've done are from when I've offered for a pet and they've been win trades. I know like sometimes um, you don't want people to trade you and then say offer, but if you do offer, then sometimes you may get a win for it. So I do recommend offering for pets if you don't already. And now the next tip I'm going to give you guys is to have a lot of preppy pets or trade preppy pets because even if you're not preppy yourself preppy pets do have a lot of demand because if they're like quite cute then a lot of preppy people which there is a lot of in adopt me are going to really want those pets and are going to overpay for them because say if they have like a like golden king penguin that's not such of a preppy pet but they may trade that golden king penguin for like three or two like uncommon preppy pets which in values will be a lose for them but they won't mind because the pets are preppy so if you've got preppy pets i would recommend trying to trade them because they're going to get overpays and then say if you trade your preppy pets for a good overpay you can then trade what you got back for the preppy pets but like not give as much especially if you're offering for like someone's preppy pets who isn't preppy and now the next tip I'm going to give you guys is to grow your inventory with ride potions. So I'll tell you how to do this. So one, if you can't buy a ride potion, just try and trade like one or two legendaries for one because it will be worth it because I'm going to tell you how. So then say you've got a ride potion, you then need to trade that ride potion for two decent ledge and try and get the best legendaries you can. Say you get a fallow deer and a gargoyle. And then the next server you go in, you see someone's looking for a fallow deer and they say, pick one of these things. And one of the things they put in is a ride potion. You can then just trade the fallow deer for the ride potion. And then you've made a profit of one legendary and I've still got the ride potion back. And if you keep doing this, you're going to keep on building up your legendaries and legendaries. They're just going to keep multiplying by doing this ride potion tip. And you can also do this with fly potions too, but I would recommend doing it with ride potions because I find ride potions have better demand as more people want to trade, like more people want to ride their pet, whereas not as many people want to fly their pet. And now the next tip I'm going to give you guys is to put in your name what you're looking for or what you want to offer for because when I was looking for cactus friends, I put this in my name and I got so many trades with people that had cactus friends and this gives you a lot more chances to offer and a lot more chances to get the pets you need. So I would really recommend doing this. And then for the final tip I'm going to give you guys is to use Tradery to find certain pets you're looking for. So Tradery is an online trading website where you can offer for other people's Adopt Me pets. And the reason why I would really recommend doing this is because some pets are really hard to find in Adopt Me, such as flamingos or I find hot doggos are really hard to find. So when I was trying to make a neon hot doggo, I offered for people's hot doggos on Tradery. And you can just offer for like 10 because loads of people um, like list them on Tradery. And then out of those 10 people, if your offer is fair, probably one of them is going to accept or there's a high chance they will. So I would really recommend doing this if you're struggling to find a pet that you really need in game. And I hope all these tips really helped you and I hope that they help you get good trades in Adopt Me. And if you found these tips helpful, please like and subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye tigers.